Hello, it's Melody. Welcome to A Saner Spin on Crazy, episode 6. This week I'm answering another reader's question, uh, which is a question I get a lot because I've been very outspoken about the fact that I don't want to have children. Uh, and this week's question um, comes from someone whose name I will not share. If you want me to share your name when you ask a question, then let me know that and I will share your name. Uh, but she says, you, do, you say you don't want to have kids, is that because you're afraid of passing it, meaning bipolar, on? Uh, no, it's not. It's because I really don't like hanging around with children for extended periods of time. And as a parent, you have to do that. Or you ought to as a parent. I know a lot of parents don't spend that much time with their kids. But uh, if I were a parent, I would want to spend time with my kids and actually raise them myself. Uh, and because I don't like spending a lot of time with screaming things that hate me, I am not going to have children. Uh, I think about 50% of people who have children probably should not be having them. And it has nothing to do with whether they have a mental illness or not. It just has to do with they probably should not be having them. And I think half of all pregnancies are actually unplanned, so that all makes sense. Uh, so that's a reason not to have a kid. If you have a mental illness and you're worried about passing it down, that's not an illegitimate uh, worry. But then think about the other people you know who do have mental illnesses who are living amazing lives. Uh, unfortunately, you may not know that you know them, and again, that comes down to stigma, but I will tell you because I've had a lot of people come to me and say, oh, I have a mental illness as well, and really successful people doing wonderful things with their lives who would never tell anybody else unless that person had confessed publicly to the entire world that they have bipolar, that they also have bipolar. Uh, so no, there's some amazing people with this illness, with schizophrenia, with schizoaffective disorder, with depression, with a lot of different mental illnesses. Uh, I've said this before, but when you have some sort of illness that makes your brain work differently, there are also advantages to that. Uh, so that's not a reason not to have kids. I think a really good reason not to have kids is that you don't like them, that you don't like hanging out with them, or um, you're not prepared. If you're sick actively, obviously that's not a good time to be having children. And then, of course, with pregnancy, and I'll do this in a different, uh, a different episode, but with pregnancy, of course, there are concerns about taking medication and things like that. Uh, but again, I, that's not the reason I'm not having kids, and I don't think that should be a reason for somebody, whether it's one parent or both parents with bipolar. The risks with one parent anywhere from 10 to 25% of having a child with bipolar, and the risk with two parents, uh, I, it's up to 50%, I think. Uh, but at the same time, what's that other 50%? What's that other 70, 80, 90%? Uh, so there's environmental factors involved as well, trauma, things like that. So... I don't, I don't think that's a reason not to have children. That's all I'm saying. I'm not a eugenicist, if that's a proper word. Okay, until next week, have a great week, and I will talk to you then. Take care. Bye.